Okay, so the fact that I just looked at this and read it and went, oh, I love this one, makes me a total dork. And I'm totally okay with that. So it tells me to use the vertical line test to determine whether the given graph is a function or not. Okay? So now a vertical line is a line that runs up and down. So this right here is a vertical line. Okay? I don't know if you can, I think you can see that. Okay. So this line right here is a vertical line. It runs up and down. And so what we want to do is we want to imagine this line moving across this graph. And that line can only touch the graph in one spot at one time. So as I move this across here, okay, so you can maybe see the shadow. As I move it across, when I cross this circle, this vertical line, when this vertical line gets right here, that vertical line is crossing that graph here and here. And that's more than one time at any one spot. Okay, and if we look at the y-axis, which is a built-in vertical line for you, this vertical line right here crosses here and here. Again, not okay. So the fact that the vertical line crosses in more than one place makes this not a function. So this particular graph is not a function because, it's important to know why, so not only is it not a function, but it's not a function because it does not pass the vertical line test. And it can be that simple. Because if it doesn't pass the vertical line test, that means that it's going to have more than one x, and the domain is going to repeat. So like this point right here is negative 2, 1. Well, this point right here is negative 2, negative 3. And if you'll remember, according to our function rule, the domain values cannot repeat. Well, here's a negative 2. And here's a negative 2. So that's why it fails the vertical line test. And that's why the vertical line test will work.